Hello everybody, welcome to this week's story. Now, do you remember last week we spoke about Betsy when she got angry and she stung that little girl? And now we're going to hear about the consequences of what happened to her when she has to be summoned to the Queen. Betsy had been waiting to see the Queen for several days. The Queen was a very busy bee and had decided not to put herself out for somebody as naughty as Betsy who went around stinging children. But eventually, when all her schedule was complete, she summoned the shaking Betsy to come and stand before her. Ooh. Now, Betsy, she began, I think we have a problem. Betsy was shaking like a leaf. She had never been so close to the Queen before, and she certainly appeared to be larger and more frightening than Betsy ever thought she was. The Queen towered over Betsy and stared at her. So, you are the bee that likes to sting little children, are you? The Queen asked. Betsy gulped. The Queen's voice was soft, yet it carried an unmistakable authority. Betsy nodded her head. The Queen continued. Do you think it's a good thing to go around stinging people, Betsy? Betsy shook her head. It seemed as if all her powers of speech had left her. What if I were to sting you? demanded the Queen. Now Betsy was paralysed with fear. If the Queen were to sting her, she would die. She didn't know what to do. She knew that the Queen was very frightening indeed. And if she wanted to, she could sting her right now. No, said the Queen. This time, I will let you go. Betsy couldn't believe what she'd heard, but the Queen knew what she was doing. Anyone can cut punish people, but it is a sign of true greatness if we can forgive and be merciful. The Queen was wise. She knew that Betsy would never do it again. She had met the Queen, and the Queen had shown her mercy. Out of respect and maybe fear of the Queen, Betsy would never do this wrong thing again. When we meet Jesus, he too could punish us for the wrong things that we have done. But he also shows mercy. And if we've really met the King of all kings, out of respect and maybe fear, we try too, never to do anything wrong again. In the same way, when people wrong us, we must learn to follow Jesus' example. It shows more strength to forgive and have mercy than it actually does to punish. Betsy could hardly walk as she left the Queen's presence. Her legs were still trembling with fear, but she was also overjoyed. She was overjoyed that the Queen had forgiven her and had been merciful. Well, I hope you like this week's story and there'll be another one next week. Until then, bye and have a good weekend.